Hello, my name is James Smart and I draw comics. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. I'm really, really, really sorry. I've been silly busy. Uh, and now it's Christmas. It's the end of the year already. So what I wanted to do today was celebrate Christmas in the only way I know how. With He-Man. Because I recently received this. He-Man figurines from Super 7. Uh, I have been coveting these for months and months and months and they finally turned up and I'm really excited. Uh, but I haven't opened them, I've resisted opening them for the last couple of days because I wanted to make a video to do it. Uh, so I thought, let's make a video of He-Man unboxing uh, and then let's draw some He-Man. he mens If you don't know He-Man, He-Man is flipping brilliant. Uh, it was a toy range and a cartoon in the 80s, which is when I first saw it because I was about six, seven years old when it first came out. Uh, and it was amazing and I loved it and I collected all the toys. This is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. There's He-Man. And there is a Naughty Boy. That's his name, Naughty Boy. Look how thick this is. I would die if this fell on me. As you can see, there are lots of weird lads running around hitting each other. Uh, and that's what I loved about He-Man, is that all, you had the good guys and the bad guys, and on each team, they were just mad characters. There was robots, and there was swamp things, and there was skunks, and there were uh, things with necks that flipped off, and there were things made out of rocks. And there was just, there was no limit to it. There were no rules to the characters. You could just come up with absolutely anything and just go, that saucepan, that is a bad guy. Uh, that hat, that's a good guy. And that's basically what they seem to do. Uh, but the characters were really well designed, really good fun. Uh, and every episode they just ran in and smacked each other and then ran away again pretty much. I think, I can't remember it that well. I think that's pretty much what happened. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to open up some He-Mans. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to draw some He-Mans. Uh, in my own style, which is with these. So before I go, have a very happy Christmas and I will see you next year. Let's get on with it. Right, let's get started. Masters of the Universe, 5.5 inch action figures, He-Man, Skeletor, She-Ra, Hordak, in a quantity, four pieces. Made in China. Whee! So, as I say, these turned up a couple of days ago. I've been holding on to them. And I have been very excited. I can't remember when I ordered them. Uh, spring, I think. Some time ago. And then they went and made them. I think they were limited edition. I'm not sure. I don't know about these things. I just knew that I wanted them. Oh. Oh, hello. Well, I shouldn't give too much away from the start. Let's get the main man out first. The absolute unit himself. Big chonk. Woo. There we go. He-Man. Most powerful man in the universe. Master of the universe as seen on TV. What I liked about these ones, Super 7 seemed to get the licenses for really cool sort of nerd culture things, retro things. They get some really cool characters. Uh, and what I liked about how they were doing these was they were doing them in their original packaging. So they weren't doing a version of He-Man, although this looks slightly, slightly, slightly different from the original. Uh, but they were emulating it as much as possible. So you even have the little tag there where it would go on a shop stand. Uh, he is encased in plastic. And he looks pretty good. Uh, oh, there you go. There you have, you can just see in the background the sword. Back there. What he holds up and then turns into, well, this. Uh, figure twists for a power punch. Super 7 logo. I'm not sponsored by Super 7. Uh, and then in the back as well, you get the comic. You get, when you used to buy the toys, you used to get a little comic book back in the 80s. That I think is a really cool idea. I think it's a really good way to sell toys because then you learn about the characters. And here we go. He-Man battles his immortal enemy, Skeletor, high atop the mysterious Castle Greyskull. 
Master of the Universe five and a half inch action figures. Collect them all, each sold separately. Twist his waist and he swings back with a punch. Don't we all? So here are the ones in the collection which I'll be getting out. Uh, He-Man, most powerful man in the universe. She-Ra, most powerful woman in the universe. Skeletor, most powerful skeleton in the universe. Uh, Hordak, ruthless leader of the evil Horde. I think Hordak's actually one of my favourites. The powers of Grace. Oh, who are these guys? Hero, most powerful wizard in the universe. Eldor, heroic guardian of the Book of Living Spell. I don't know who they are. I'm supposed to know who they are, aren't I? I think I read somewhere He Man had like 4,000 characters in it, though, so you can't really be expected to know every single one. I just know the funny ones. They're the ones I liked when I was a kid. There was Moss Man and Spycore and Fisto and Ram Man and Aquaman. Not Aquaman, Merman and. I'm basically just a grown man listing He-Mans uh, and that's what I'm calling them He-Mans not Masters of the Universe because that is their names He-Mans so yeah that's the first one uh, I'm not going to tear it out of the box because are you insane? <laughs> no of course I'm not uh, so this is an unboxing video but the only box I'm unboxing is this box I'm not unboxing this this is beautiful this is a really nice oh I like this I like this a lot yeah, he looks good. He looks mean. It's weird to sell toys to kids that look really mean and angry, even though they're the good guys, but uh, I guess that was He-Man's thing. Oh, no, there he's smiling a bit. Oh, that's nice. Oh, he's happy. So, yeah, there's He-Man. There's the first one. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I'm very happy with that. Stands like that. Uh, right, He-Man. You can sit there. Should we get... Part two. Let's get his sister out. His sister, most powerful woman in the universe, Shira, as seen on TV. She looks slightly different, how I remember. But uh, well, it was 30 years ago, because I am an old man. There's the comic book in the back, and just down there, you might be able to see the sword. Uh, yeah, and then, oh, there we go. she is attacked by Hordak and his evil Horde troopers. But she's happy too. They're enjoying this. They like it. They like all the destruction. Uh, twist her waist and make her swing her sword of protection and protect herself with her shield. I seem to remember she had a unicorn. She rode around on a unicorn, whereas uh, He-Man ran around on Battle Cat, who was this huge sort of green tiger thing. Uh, does she have a unicorn? Or is it a horse with wings? I didn't... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't I didn't buy she toys myself because uh, I was indoctrinated into the patriarchy at that age. Uh, but my sister bought a lot of she toys and um, I used to steal or borrow them and then we all used to have fights. I used to mix them in with my He-Mans uh, and, yeah, they all used to team up like they did in the cartoons. I think in the cartoons they used to team up and fight each other because they are brother and sister uh, so they would fight together and do good things oh, I don't know it's a long time ago uh, yeah so I, I like she a lot I think she was really really cool uh, she's a really good character um, who cares if they're cynically marketing toys to try and attract girls to an existing boys property you know if you come up with good characters it's that's all that matters she of course has been Reinvented a little bit for the new Netflix series, which looks really, really, really good. Uh, and that I will be trying out soon. Uh, I've got a little paper slipping. So, yeah, that's She-Ra. He-Man and She-Ra running around, hitting bad guys. That's what they do. They need a song up. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to be unboxing. Right, so, oh, look, what's this? Another one. Skeletor, absolute bad boy, evil lord of destruction. God, he's such a rascal. You're a rascal, Skeletor. And there's a comic in the back. There is his staff with a ram's head on it. Uh, and there he is. I remember when I was a kid, I had a Skeletor 
that uh, had a battle plate on it and if you flicked it it would revolve round and it would get slowly more and more damaged so it looked like you were hitting him with a sword I don't know uh, oh, look at him he's so naughty Skeletor with his havoc staff in hand prepares to conquer the planet of Eternia I mean he tried every week from what I can remember and he never really got away with it I think he did it once or twice Master of the Universe, oh, we've done that bit. Twists his waist and he swings back with a punch. Same as He-Man. He-Man, she, you are Skeletor Horduck. Who knows, who knows. Yeah. He looks good. He looks brighter than I remember. I don't remember him being that bright blue, but maybe he was. Uh, I never had a Skeletor toy, though, when I was a kid, when I had all the He-Man toys. I didn't like I didn't like him. There's something about his design I wasn't that struck with. Uh but invariably my friends had him, so we could still have fights and stuff. Yeah, it looks good. That does look good. It's weird how a skeleton can be so muscular. I don't understand the physiology. Right, and then one more, who's arguably my favorite out of all of them. Look at his cheeky face. Master of the Universe, Hordak. Another naughty boy. Ruthless leader of the evil horde. I think Hordak was she main enemy. He was like a beefcake space vampire. Uh, and he made lots of robots. And he made the robots do his evil bidding. And then she could kick seven bells out of them. And that was alright, because violence against robots doesn't count. If it was actual living things, uh, there would have been complaints. Because there were robots, that's fine. So he is... Is he part robot? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, so that's Hordak, he has a weird face, but I really liked him when I was a kid, there's something in the aesthetic really appealed to me, look at his funny little feet, what's he have, he has a crossbow thing behind him doesn't he, and there's the comic in there, let's see his cheeky face, Hordak uses his powerful shape changing abilities to fight both He-Man and She-Ra, what a naughty boy, well, see He-Man's enjoying this one, she -Ra's not enjoying it. She knows Hordak's bad news. Twists his waist and he swings back with a punch. Slide the blaster cannon over his arm to destroy enemies. So he's like a... He's got a gun on one arm. He's just got a space vampire face. And he's got a crossbow on the other arm. And they're all standing in the sewers. Because that's where you go to have a fight. Yeah. No, I like that. That is good. That is a good Hordak. Good, bad, Hordak. Very nice. So I am very, very happy with those. I think they're really nicely made. I'm going to put them on my shelves as if my studio is a toy room, a uh, toy shop. And uh, look at this. Look at these. Look at my masters of the universe. Aren't they naughty? So, yeah. Brilliant. Very happy. Uh... I think I'm going to have a go at drawing at least a couple of them. I don't know who. Um, and I will put a festive spin on it. Because obviously He-Man celebrates Christmas on Eternia. Uh, and yes, this is the end of the unboxing video. I will shut up now and go and draw a picture. Bye!